Hi, my name is Jason. Welcome to Founder of the Day, where we discuss more obscure and underappreciated founding parents of the United States uh, and the American Revolution in general. If you'd like to read about it, you can go to my website, founderoftheday.com, where I've written every day for a year and a half, so there's 600 or so articles for you to choose from. Today, first of all, I need to apologize. I am not wearing my collar. I just got out of the car. It was a long weekend traveling to and from a wedding. Congratulations, Forsyth family. Um, I am wearing my Washington's Headquarters shirt from Liberty & Co, who is my favorite retailer of American-related apparel and merchandise. Shout out to them. No sponsorship for this video. Um, uh, today I want to talk a little bit about Tench Tillman. Now, Tench Tillman is a name very few Americans will recognize, but he has one extraordinarily noteworthy honor. But some background first. Tench Tillman was a saddle maker uh, who came from a fairly respectable family, some of whom lived in Pennsylvania, some were in Maryland, um, and when they signed the non-importation agreement after the first Continental Congress, uh, Tench Tillman supported it, even though it hurt his sales pretty badly. Um, and unfortunately, a number of Tories came and burned down his shop, which was, you know, not cool. <laughs> so Tench went over to Maryland and joined the militia and very soon rose up because he was fluent in French. He rose up through the ranks and was actually appointed an aide-de-camp to General George Washington. And if when we read, I, I want to say hundreds of the letters that Washington sent around in correspondence between Continental Army, uh, uh, Continental Congress, and the Army, everyday letters... Tillman, many of them are in Tillman's handwriting. So Tench, which is a great name, my, my wife wouldn't let me name my kid Tench, even though I love it. Uh, Tench uh, ended up, after working for Washington for several years, he was there when we had the victory at Yorktown. And he was part of the tremendous victory that won the war. And Tillman was given a very particularly nice honor where he was asked to take the papers of surrender and ride back to Philadelphia and triumphantly tell the Continental Congress, we've won the war. Uh, and I, it, it must have been bittersweet for Tillman, who, like I said, had worked very hard with his commander-in-chief and fellow officers, um, because when he joined the revolution, his father and his brother did not. And his family was literally split into half. Um, his he did have an uncle, uh, Matthew Tillman, who actually voted was a, a delegate to the Second Continental Congress and voted for independence. He left afterward and did not actually sign the Declaration of Independence, but he was one of several people who did vote for it and then were like, "I got to get home. We got work to do." Um, and he he married his cousin Matthew's daughter Anna. So. Um, the family wasn't totally broken up. But, like I said, it's a very quick story today about Tench Tillman, the man who carried news of the victory at Yorktown to the Continental Congress. If you like this very brief video, please like and subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow. I think I'm going to write, I think I'm going to talk about Silas Dean tomorrow, who is a personal favorite of mine. If you don't know who Silas Dean is, you should look him up or wait patiently till tomorrow or go to founderoftheday.com where I've written about him. Uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. You have a good afternoon.